If you're asked to evaluate, you might think that this is negative 6 to the second power, but um, you have to be more careful how you read the shorthand of mathematics. When there's an exponent involved, the exponent's in charge, and it only applies to the very first thing it touches. So in this case, the 2 is touching the 6. Let's emphasize that. The 2 is touching the 6. So that means you have 6 times 6, which yields 36. And this negative sign, you simply keep up with it. So your answer in this case would be a negative 36. If I want this exponent to apply to the 6 as well as the negative sign, in math we have grouping symbols. Okay, now the exponent applies to the parentheses. That means we have two sets of parentheses. And within each set of parentheses, we happen to know there's a negative 6. And negative 6 times negative 6 yields a positive 36. So that would be the difference. This is actually easier to see in a more complicated problem. Okay. If I gave you um, negative 5q r squared z, you wouldn't think that the exponent applied to really anything else except the r. Okay, so when it's more complicated, it's actually more obvious that the exponent only applies to the very thing it touches. So in this case, what we have is and this is r to the second power, so we have r times r z. All right, slide this up a little. But um, a different situation, if I have and I want everything here to be squared, the way I would do that, same way I did it up here, is I put parentheses around the entire expression with my exponent up here. All right. In this case, we would have two sets of parentheses. And then Okay. Um so I'm going to divide these up. I want to emphasize these are four different problems, but I'm trying to get you used to seeing that the exponent only applies to the very first thing that it touches.